I don't know why I did this. I just started drawing it. Yeah. Get it? Why is it perfect? So what does it say? One and six? six. Okay, didn't she say the smallest would be working with my core? My name is Lisette Fife. I'm an Idaho Commission on the Arts teaching artist, and I'm here today working with Lena Whitmore Elementary School. We met this summer to plan this artist residency, and we're working with fused glass. We focus on a math component so that we can work with polygons and teach the children about that math concepts, measuring. I also threw in for fun a few accent circles. And we are basically starting with our fifth graders and working all the way down to kindergarten. So it's a collaborative project to kind of bring all of the students and the teachers together and to have a nice art installation at the end. I was, trying to make, I was trying to make this one, but okay. I thought this was glass. This is too tall. This person has too many layers of glass. So you can do one layer like this and then maybe just a couple tiny accent pieces. So more like this idea is what we're kind of looking for. If you use the stringers, you can. Yeah. Can you do this? You're going to have to think about making things big. So at least that has to be at least a quarter inch by quarter inch. So that's your smallest measurement. We might be able to do that. So do a couple designs. You can pick your favorite. So I would just make these a little bit bigger. I would just, yeah. You can still make it light, but some parts can be Yeah, and it doesn't have to be the same design. So you can just think of something else. Like something that makes you feel happy or something that is pretty dark. So if you really want a dark color like that, that's shows you something. This actually looks pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. And then I need to yeah. Oh, that's great. Nice. Yeah. That'd be a great contrast. Just put a glass on the tray and then bring it to me when you're ready. Okay. And I'll wait for you. Okay. Yeah. Every shape that you need. Yeah. Alright, so let me guess, all the white glass is okay too? It is. Okay, hold this. Keep this with you so that you can hold the glass. These are a few of the examples that the students have made that have not been fired yet, but they've been glued together with just enough glue to tack them into position so we can get them to the kilns. Julia did a mountain scene and it turned out pretty nicely. She ended up modifying her design, but her basic design starts with the mountain and the sun and kind of the green foreground. And then when she came to the actual cutting of the piece, she modified it so that her son's kind of in front of the mountain with the snow capped peak beyond, beyond, and then you can see the greenery and the base of the mountain here. Is there any clear black One of the most exciting things for people that work with glass or ceramics is getting to open the kiln. So these pieces were fired early this morning, about 6 o'clock, and now this afternoon they should be about ready to take out. So this is a little Rio Grande kiln that we have the pieces in. And we're going to open it and very carefully take the pieces out. Now these pieces were fired on fiber paper. So I have to be kind of careful as I take it apart so that I don't have to breed the dust. So I'm going to take it over to this kind of transition place. And I'm going to put it on one of my cafeteria trays that keeps them from sliding off and moving when I'm transporting them. So I wipe off some of the um, fiber paper dust when I take each piece out. and just kind of try not to disturb it very much because it acts as our glass release paper. After the pieces are fired, I will assemble them onto Lexan sheets. And each Lexan sheet is about two and a half by 12 inches long. We'll have five pieces on the sheet and I'll just kind of get a color balance when all the pieces are put together and arrange them. 
This will give you a feel of how the light transmits through the glass. We have some glass that's more opaque and some glass that's more translucent that the students are working with. So if you really want a dark color like that, that's translucent. This actually looks pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. And then I need to...